Alright, now that our uh, 2 by 2 is now mixed up, uh, the first thing we're going to do is solve the uh, white side, or since mine is made of white plastic, not black, it will be the uh, black side for me. So, what we're going to do is just find one corner, which there are corners, but one black, but it doesn't matter what color, so let's do this one right here, it is black, blue, and orange. So I can find the blue or orange, and here's the blue piece right here. So what we're going to do is just bring it up, and look, we solve this one at the same time. So now we have an L shape, and so what you want to do is just solve it. And then we have it in this case, when the black is on the side, you need to get it up here. If you do this, you mess it up, and you make pretty much the exact same problem. So what I do is twist these back, bring it up, and bring it back down. Now, it's not too hard. You guys should be able to figure out, um, like, how to solve it just by yourselves, like, the, uh, first side. But, um, that's pretty much, like, it for the first part. So, what you want to do is, when you're done with that, make sure that it's the bottom face. So, the first layer is right here. So, you've already gotten, so you've already gotten half of it done. So, next thing you want to do is solve the yellow side. So, uh, this will be your first algorithm. It's fairly simple. Um, if I mess up, bear with me, guys, because uh, I haven't solved a 2x2 two two in a little while, but I still remember it. So, uh, that's good. So, what the algorithm is, is R, U, R, I, U, R, 2, U, R, I. And there we go. Now, it's just, we just move some of them around, but what we want to do is, we're going to start with, uh, actually, this one, if it... There's many different ways. Anyway, what you want to do is just keep doing the algorithm until you get it in where there's a yellow spot up here and a yellow side right here. So this yellow should be moved up to here and this should be just normal. So then you do the algorithm again. Again, this may take about the f uh, six times to uh, get the process. This is like time, yeah, I think this is like four. There's like five. Oh, here we go. We got it just how we want. And so we do the algorithm one last time. And now finally, we have the stage. I messed up a little, but it's fine. So now we have the stage where it's up here and we have yellow facing us. This is exactly what we need. Do the algorithm one last time. For the sixth time for me. Bang. Now you should not all. Yeah, there we go. You should not always, but you should 99%, 90% of the time, you should get to, uh, to, um, uh, like a half a side solved, I should say. So when you turn it, you have the whole side solved. And if you don't, well, then you can just, um, turn it like this. So it'll be like that. And then this side would be like that too, but we don't have that, so that's good. So then you only have to do the algorithm once, and then your 2x2 two two will be solved. So the algorithm is RI, F, RI, 2B, R, FI, RI, 2B, 2R. And then you just twist the Rubik's Cube, and 2x2 um, two two Rubik's Cube will finally become solved. And I hope that did help you guys. That's pretty much exactly how you solve the uh, 2x2. I don't really know any tricks. Leave your comments below. A comment, like, subscribe, the usual, rate it, thumbs up if you would. I hope this helped you in any way. And check out my uh, tutorial how to solve the 3x3. And it will be divided up into parts. And then later in the month or this beginning of April, I'll put up a 4x4 video because I'm still working on it because I'm. Um, I could solve just I'm trying to put it into words on how to solve it because sometimes I forget the algorithm. So check out those videos and I'll see you next time.